When did humans gain the ability to dive? A separate space with abnormal laws of physics, whose coordinates overlap with those of outer space. Yes, hyperspace. Everything begins here. It's spring break. Why so early? Well, I'd love to sleep till noon, but we're supposed to have a club meeting about attracting new members today. Uh-huh. And then I've got work to do on the Benton Maru this evening. That's so crazy. With this business recession thing, I'm still working hard. Sounds stressful, but I'm sure you can handle it. All right, then, I'm off! Hmm, looks like augmenting the sensors needs to come first. Before this? Just think about it. Imagine an ODET-2 using those big solar sails for antennas. It'd be like a battleship. I think we could do some really cool stuff with it. What kind of cool stuff? Let me see. Like searching for sunken ships? <gasps> wow, count me in! Not so fast. Huh? This meeting is about attracting new members, not the Odette 2. Did you forget about that? <laughs> no. That's it. Hmm? <gasps> Treasure hunts aboard the Odette 2. We could make that our catchphrase. That'll bring in new recruits for sure. And we'll be making money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, guys. Don't sweat it. Space University doesn't start till the summer. Plenty of time. My college is nearby. Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> I'm worried about that, but the lack of newcomers is a problem, too. Huh? Mm -hmm. For dinghy competitions and practice cruises, it's better to have more members. I agree. But why does it seem like everybody's so afraid of the yacht club? You know, we've had a lot less interest in the past few years, haven't we? Without enough people in the club, we won't be able to keep up the maintenance on the Odette, too. That would be awful. I don't want that at all! If we let the Yacht Club fall apart right now in Aichan's generation, I don't think Jenny senpai would ever forgive us. <laughs> don't be afraid, Aichan. Huh? We're all going down together. Uh, it's not over yet! <clears throat> Sasha, could you finish the billboard and apply for the posters and booklets? Got it! Don't forget the display model! Sure thing! Oops! That leaves cleaning the Odette mascot and setting up the billboard. Oh, yeah, and... You can leave it to us! We're fine! You just worry about going to work. See you later! Marika Kato, age 17. Starting my third year at Hakuo Academy. Yacht Club President, part-time waitress, and a space pirate.
we made. It was short notice. We got an urgent message when you arrived in the shuttle. You should listen to what the insurance company has to say. <sighs> Yo, I'm so sorry, but the other party just pulled the plug. They looked at the speed for the price and decided to hire somebody else. Hire somebody else? But didn't they go on and on about how happy they would be to have the high-speed Benton Maru on the job? <sighs> they sure did. It's because FTL jumps have been kind of buggy lately. But it ain't your fault if all the customers want to get their stuff moved faster. Nope. Just bad luck. Yeah, but what now? Well, it's not the best replacement, but we did just get another job. And it's a show, so it's right up your alley. Go get them, Captain. Jeez, not again. That's three cancellations this week. Seems like hyperspace is full of trouble these days. I can confirm that as well. There's always some kind of accident. Please refrain from FTL jumps in the galactic corridor. Huh? Well, at least they canceled before the job. Lucky for us. Mm. <laughs> What is that? What's wrong? I don't care what it is. Blow it up. Uh. We'll use the recoil to propel ourselves forward. Mm. As of now, there is yet to be a serious accident. Really? Isn't that kind of a bold statement for a time like this? With everything that's been going on in hyperspace, you'd think everybody would be moving slow. Hmm. I still haven't gotten over it. Why did they cancel? <laughs> but we ended up getting a different job in the end, right? Let's look on the bright side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Though I wish you hadn't made that decision without me. Well, thanks for being so quick about it, I guess. Okay. Tours being managed by Jenny Senpai's company. Huh? Your Senpai wants to talk to you. Put her on. Long time no see, Marika-san. But I have to say the timing is perfect. Thanks so much for the job. <laughs> Times have been hard for everyone lately. So it's a give and take. Well, in that case, I have a special request for this mission. I'd like to throw in a few ad-libs. Ad-libs? Yep. Just trust me. If you quietly cooperate, 
cooperate with our demands, then you'll be able to return to port unharmed. And you're welcome to brag about being one of the lucky few to survive a pirate takeover as soon as you get there. Don't worry, you're doing great. Beyond hyperspace. <gasps> hmm. What a brave expression you're wearing, young man. You don't even tremble or quake at the sight of a pirate, Captain. You're certainly an impertinent one. <gasps> Listen, pirate! Leave these passengers alone! And in return, you can take me prisoner! What a trooper! Please be careful. It's okay. Thanks for oh, your concern. Really said it. But it's not every day you get to be abducted by pirates, right? I admire your spirit, young man. Tell me your name. Um, Kanata Mugen. Hmm. Then it's settled. Out of respect for Mr. Mugen, my crew and I are willing to belay any and all pillaging and plundering. That said, those who are concerned for the boy's safety are welcome to offer up any gifts they like, just in case. So it's presents instead of treasure, eh? All of these are addressed to the captain. Hurry up, you two! Bye-bye! Sorry the halls are so narrow on the ship. Oh, uh, I'm used to it. Do you know why the halls are always thin on spaceships? Huh? It's so you can't swagger around like you're hot stuff. Nobody's above anybody in space. You get it? Yeah, but aren't you the captain? You're important, at least. <laughs> Thank you. What a cutie! My name is Flint! It's Flint! It's nice to meet you, Flint. You're the one with the galaxy pass? The name checks out. Kanada Mugen. Mascara! Ryozo! So you... know about me? Mm-hmm. Do you know about your dad's background? I do. I see. Well, there's something he wanted me to do. Mm hmm? Let's go. <gasps> Report! The enemies have caught up to us. I've got three touchdown readings. What's the word, Captain? Maintain speed. <gasps> I want to see who we're <gasps> up against. Aye, aye. Excuse me. <sighs> ships at a distance of six light seconds behind us. Their transponders say they're Mira Systems ships 145 to 166 and 167. So they're double H's and Lincoln's from the Archmas Company. Not the latest models, but decent. I'm from the Mira system. Thought so. I guess that means they're after you, aren't they? <laughs> so that's why you chose to come with us. Can you... Please help me. <laughs> what is it? It says to stop the ship and release the hostage immediately. It looks like there's a call coming in. Attention, this is a message from Gilbert Necker, esteemed captain of the Mira system battleship Hulock. Space pirate ship Benton Maru, you are acting in violation of the law. Cease fire now and abandon your weapons. Hello, this is Mari Kakato. I'm the captain. Is the hostage unharmed? Of course. We take our job very seriously. Kata! Job? Are you saying kidnapping and plundering is your job? Oh, didn't you know? <laughs> You're flying around barking orders at us and you've never even heard of space pirates? What? Our business is protected by the law. <sighs> and we even have a letter of mark. 
The space pirate ship Benton Maru, open for business with rave reviews. Your turn, Corey. Sure thing. Here we go. <laughs> Captain Gilbert Necker of the Mira Systems Third Fleet is currently on holiday. Ha! He's in the middle of his vacation. Oh, really? Is that so? Well, since you're out here telling everyone what to do, you can't possibly be who you say you are. So there's no reason for us to listen. Captain, they just made an FTL jump. <laughs> We seem to have smooth sailing post-FTL jump. Apparently, they're not all trying to follow us. Ugh, that's the problem with hyperspace recently. Why wouldn't they just give up? Shut up! Hmm? Uh, never mind. Uh. <laughs> Report! Hyperspace abnormality! What kind? Oh, dear. I can see the hyperspace paths are in disarray. We'll hit Nirvana, unless... What's the plan, Captain? Take a detour! That's right. If we dive below 200, we'll cross into a current that's not used as often. Let's go, Benton Maru! Roger! Roger. course in hyperspace, huh? It's been a while. Give me the speed and coordinates. Already sent. Matching hyperspeed depth. Output increasing 30%. Sending a shipwide notice regarding the deeper path. All hands evacuate to the inner corridors to brace for damage. Evacuate inside. Recalculating. Kane, all clear. Good. All hands prepare for impact. Activate shock protection. Point six K times light speed. You okay, Kanatakun? Everything's gonna be okay. It's almost over now. Uh? There we go. Well, it's nine o'clock. You're done for the day, Captain. Uh? Oh, wow, long day. Huh? I'll leave the rest up to you guys. Good work today. All right, Captain. Have a good night. Ready to go? Huh? We have to obey the rules. Miners can't work too late. Kids are supposed to get plenty of rest. Me too? Mm-hmm. So I guess technically my last job for the day is getting you to bed, right? <sighs> Don't be stupid! You're a kid too! It's probably fatigue and some space sickness. He was scared, so he must have worn himself out. Hmm. We've confirmed that the pirate ship is on a new path, calculating destination. Switching to a different route on the spur of the moment. That's absurd. Hurry up and retrieve the flaw in. Yes, sir. Electing control squad. Hmm. No question. These frontier pirates are smart. But not smart enough. Uh. Since we're traveling to a different path, we've circled back around to see of the Morning Star. Our estimated return time's eight hours later. That'll be fine. The captain's still on spring break. There's not much we can do. It's unusual for a route to be unavailable at the last minute. Speaking of which, here's the visual from before the switch. Take a look.
Huh? Here, let me zoom in. A star? The flow of water is the flow of time. Before you know it, water becomes the flow of stars. What is the color of what lies beyond hyperspace? Where are you going, Kanata? Well, I'm... I'm going... Where are you headed? I believe in. Sec. Oh, you're awake. Did you sleep okay? Where are we right now? Good morning, Kanata! Oh, right. You fell asleep when we got to see of the Morning Star. So I let you crash here. That's uh, not what I... Huh? Good morning, you two. I see you're awake already. Good morning, Gruyere. Yeah, he's a great alarm clock. Rousel! Carly! <laughs> Whoa! Please help yourselves to breakfast. Mm-hmm. This looks delicious. Wow, I can't wait to dig into these. <sighs> it's not like they're poisoned. This is the same food the princesses eat, so it's okay. Princesses? Mm-hmm. These two are the princesses of a place called Serenity. I am the seventh princess of the Royal Serenity Alliance, Gruyer Serenity. And my sister is... My name is Grunhilda Serenity. Hello there. Kanata. I'm Kanata Mugen. Oh, and get this. Dr. Mugen's actually his dad. Really? You mean the famous explorer? That's him. People say he was amazing. Does that mean that you've actually met my father? Mmm. You have met him! Well, I've only heard about him. My dad was the one who knew Dr. Mugen personally. <sighs> one day, I will disappear into the depths of hyperspace. When that happens, please pass it on to my son. Your dream? No. Something far more precious. His future. Kanata's destiny, the things he'll wish for, the choices he'll make. I'll be sure to do that for you. Kanata, 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 Kanata. Your father's made a pact? Huh? Yeah. Well, actually, my dad passed away, so now I'm the one who's supposed to keep the promise. Your father passed away, Captain? Mm-hmm. It happened in some mysterious part of space. That's how I became a space pirate, more or less. Captain Gonzaman, he's a great person. Oh, I mean, was a great person. Hmm. You became a pirate because he wanted you to? Mm-mm. I was allowed to choose whether or not I wanted to live this way. I thought about it, I said yes. And now I've become the proud captain of the space pirate ship Benton Maru. I never got to know your father. And I didn't know mine either. Guess I don't know anything. But I have to grant this request. Because it's your job? Mm, not exactly. I hope this doesn't sound weird, but... That pact they made? It really affected me for some reason. 
even though I didn't know either of them. What do you think about it? What do you mean? Well, isn't it kind of interesting? Interesting? Think about it. There is a mysterious promise made in some place we don't know, and yet it's up to us to keep it, even though we don't know anything. I think it's selfish. How could they do something like that without... Is it scary? That's how it always is. Everyone makes selfish decisions, and then... I am the school nurse during spring break. So is Kana Takun all right? Yeah, he'll be safe in the guest house. And Grunhilda's serving as his companion while he's there. Honestly, that's the one thing I'm worried about. My sister seems to be feeling motivated today. They'll be fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you so much! All that ad-libbing you did made the tour even more popular with the customers! We've already had several people sign up for the next one! <laughs> Thank you! You really helped us a lot by giving us permission to take Kanata Kun along with us! Well, Fairy Jane and Harold Lloyd have both had a lot of work taken away from them lately. We ladies have to stick together, you know? That's true. And the insurance company is treating the promise between the previous captain and Dr. Mugen as an official request. <laughs> Another beer? Just let me know if I can help you with anything else. Oh, and who were those people who attacked the Benton Maru? The crew's looking into that at the moment, but it might take a while to find out. You had a difficult trip. I still don't know why they didn't track us right away. Beats me. I thought they might have been a private armada or maybe some kind of rebel army, but... Looks like they're definitely a Mira system fleet. Mm. Not sure about the crew, but we know their captain's a fake for sure. I doubt he's the only one. What kind of honest crew wouldn't at least raise objection to a known imposter? Maybe they're not military. Huh? We all know the ships are legitimate. All three went into commission three years ago. Right. And by Mira system law, ships go back to the manufacturer for maintenance three years after they've been commissioned. So it stands to reason that all three of those warships are supposed to be back in the manufacturer's dock. You mean the manufacturer's the one behind this? Let's have a look-see, shall we? <sighs> well, for the time being, we've got ourselves a lead. I see. <laughs> All right! Silverware's perfectly polished. <laughs> it's up to you, Mommy Chan. Right! I promise I'll work hard and do my best again today. <sighs> huh? I'm afraid that the place that's about to open down the street is part of a pretty famous chain. They might be a threat. We'll be fine. Mm. Our cafe is known for its great atmosphere, and we've got years of service to back us up. Have a little more confidence. Uh, sure. There's no need to be afraid every time a new restaurant pops up. Chief, they just mm -hmm. started. Uh -huh. Marketing. This is bad. Uh huh? Mommy Endo, this is your fight. What? <laughs> Mommy Chan? <coughs> so what if they're flashy? Fine, that's how they want to play it! Uh, uh, Mommy Chan, I kind of need to open the shop soon. No matter the item, no matter how far, a field transport wraps up the galaxy!
Did they say wraps up the galaxy? Man, how are we supposed to top something like that? Especially when hyperspace is such a mess lately. Let's throw our hands up! You enjoy sleeping quite a bit. <laughs> this room is actually quite pleasant for nodding off. It's been a while since I've gotten to sleep that much. You're safe here, so feel free to sleep all you want. <sighs> I happen to be somewhat contrary, too, that you are just stubborn, aren't you? Anyway, you should be aware that I took it upon myself to do some research on your father while you slept. I learned a lot. He was an expert on hyperspace navigation systems. Dr. Mugen dove into hyperspace in a submarine he created and ended up discovering a new way to travel faster than light. He wasn't that special. All he did was make a big profit by bringing up ships that sunk in hyperspace a long time ago and saying their cargo was sunk in treasure. What's wrong with that? He acted like a thief. He did find that hyperspace route, but... It's just dumb luck that it turned out to be helpful. My father was not a good man. It appears to me as though you hate your father. Yeah, I do hate him. I'm Dr. Mugen's kid. And since I was little, that's all anybody's ever known about me. <laughs> but I'm not him! Later on, once I made it to school, I thought I could start over, but... How could you understand? You're a princess. You don't have problems. Well, you're half right. I didn't have a father at all. So I suppose I couldn't understand. You mean... your father passed away too? Oh no. I'm saying we never had one in the first place. Huh? Since we're daughters of the royal family, we were from an artificial womb. Uh, Shall we go? Huh? Whatever's bothering you right now, even though you're upset, I'm sure we can help somehow. Come. Wait, wait a minute! Jonathan! Ashkara! Brandon! Huh? Meeting? We heard you were keeping this little kid as a pirate hostage. We'll do whatever we can to help. If it's for President Marika, we'll even sail to the ends of space. <laughs> but wait a sec. The Yacht Club's supposed to be on break today. <laughs> Did you invite them, Hilda? <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask everyone to join us, but they were already here when we arrived. Wow! Where'd all this Yacht Club spirit come from? Hey, the gang's all here. Senpai! Check out the cutie! <laughs> Sorry, I'm the one who called everybody. It was you? Yeah. I'm a little worried, so I made everyone think it was a club activity. Get this. It's not just about us. Every internet user in town might be having their data collected. <gasps> huh? Somebody's been watching us. <gasps> Thank you. Please use our service again. It's
It's no good. Why did I have to come straight here? It all started when Hal informed me that a nasty worm had found its way into his system. Hal? Oh, yeah. Hal is what I call my PC. You mean worm as in virus? More specifically, it's called malware, malicious software. What it does is spit out information that's stored in the computer. If I hadn't created Hal's firewall by hand, I might not have even caught it. See? There it goes. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. I just remembered something scary. So you made that yourself, Senpai? Yeah. I wanted to take a look and see what they were doing without them seeing me, if that makes sense. They're stealing stuff? There's nothing relevant in there anyway. As of now, they haven't taken anything that'll help them. Hey, that was mine! You gave them our data? Well, I wanted to use something that wouldn't get their guard up, you know? My point is, between last night and this morning, almost every computer in town was probably affected by this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move over here. The software is running smoothly. Yeah, perfection. Look at the flow of information. From the room to the whole school, the school to the whole town. You weren't kidding. Everyone's data's being snatched away. It's getting worse! And there's a time lag every once in a while. That's them releasing the information onto the net. Then, somebody instantly grabs that information and reads it. Which means, they're able to monitor this whole area. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much point in spreading the program. It's Marika-san and Kanade-san! <gasps> they wanted to find out where you two are. So they set off this program when the ship got back. And I never ended up going back to my house last night. Uh-oh. Put these together. Uh -huh. And make it quick. Right. What's this for again? Just do it. Okay. Seven words. People? <sighs> Excuse me. Hey, Marika's friend, right? You're from the Barbalusa? Yes. I'm Kurihara. <laughs> 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 Inspector! All right, you can stand up. After attacking her, you lot are lucky you're still breathing. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Where... where did this mess come from? Uh, I mind my own business and then this happens. That's my life. Sorry? Uh, Marika! Where's Marika now? Didn't come home. I figure she's probably over at Guruya's place. She got lucky. Looks like our enemies are outsiders this time. They certainly don't mind breaking the law. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's safe to assume they already have our personal data. However, that's not the information they're after. Is there some way we can fight back? Can we see who they are? Nope. What? But you're so smart! I could start up a cyber war if I wanted to. But it's not like I'd be able to give and take data like it was nothing. If I made a mistake, they could get the provider to shut us out. Then we might as well put a sign out front that says, here they are! <sighs> Man, if I only had my own line. Huh? What's up? <laughs> you need a line? Just leave it to me. Oi. The captain's calling us. Wonder why. The captain? I'll loop you in, Hakame. We need to grab the enemy by the tail. Wait, what? Awesome. We just connected Hal to the Benton Maru's main computer. You can always count on a pirate to suddenly pull an independent line out of nowhere. What's the next step? <laughs> a virus for a virus. Infecting the worm with the virus, huh? 
If she infects the computer that was attacked by the worm, then when the worm sends over the computer data, then... It'll automatically trace back to the originator of the virus. Pretty slick. She's good. Cracker over in, wasn't it? Glad she's on our side. No joke. There it goes! On top of that, I borrowed a little help from the pirates. And what do you know? We've built ourselves a virus so fast. It's exactly what you'd expect from Ren Senpai and the pirates! <laughs> well, Senpai, let it loose. <laughs> place where infections taking less than a second that's where the worm started from unless i'm quite mistaken it's spreading from several spots does that mean that there's more than one enemy hmm. that's strange i wonder what's going on huh uh, yeah we found out something interesting when we cross-referenced the data something interesting it occurred to me in the beginning when Schnitzer figured out that thing about the battleships, but now it's crystal clear. Crystal clear? If it was a snake, it would have bit us. Probably thought we'd overlook it. All the infected computers were running the same antivirus software made by OMA Computers. That's it, huh? No wonder it got right past the security software. OMA Computer's antivirus. When was the update? I knew it. So what happened? <laughs> All of the computers that got infected the fastest were also the first ones to update their software. Get it? Are you saying the worm was created by an antivirus software company? What? Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks. <laughs> yeah. But now we've got more clues to work with. You're right. <sighs> Get ready, girls! Yeah! yeah! Huh? The crew's gonna figure things out, so let's do whatever we can from here. Right! right! As expected, they left the digging to us. We've got more than enough clues to crack this thing. Akoya Shipbuilding, OMA Computers... So, we were right. Seems they also make security software for the military. And the mirror system just signed a lump contract. But it doesn't stop there. A whole bunch of companies recently purchased that security software on a group order. You guessed it. They got a huge discount. Hmm? No way! 80% off? There was a special deal for group purchases, but it was only offered that one time. What do you think of that? That's suspicious, all right. Hmm. A family raid. I think we got them. <laughs> Taking out all the companies in one fell swoop. Not on my watch, pal! <laughs> What? The road ahead is closed due to an accident. Mm. I have to hurry and find Marika. When this whole sad story began, what did Kanata-san's father, Dr. Mugen, leave in the care of pirates? Kanata-kun's destiny. <laughs> the chance to choose his fate for himself. Choosing your fate? Oh, isn't that romantic? <sighs> but alas, this only caused Kanata-san's grief. Oh no! My own father hates the person I am! He wants to control my future from beyond the grave! Sorry, what you said to Grunhilda was kind of all we had to go on. How should... I respond to this? And the courier of this great legacy was... This flint thing! 
He could become a book or a bird, but that was about it, nothing more. But perhaps he was more than he appeared. Observe! Bhaskara, Riozo, Morinari, Carly, Kanata, Brandon, Irana. Flint constantly repeats only these seven words in parrot form. Huh. They sound like names. Hey, maybe they could be Kanata Kun's family. But they're all different. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> So, you finally got your first spaceship. What's it called? Hmm? Come on, Dad, give it a name! <laughs> That's up to you, buddy. But why? When you build a ship, traditionally, you're the one who's responsible for deciding what to call it. Huh? For instance, he named his Raul. And this lively guy here chose the name Octopus. And this spirited lady called. That's it. Huh? Submarines! Got it. But they're not showing up. They're not ships' names. They're the owners! As in the people who built them! Oh! Of course! Right. I'll start to look up the names in the ship registration database. Flint wasn't squawking random words. Those people, they were my father's friends. Did you figure it out? Wait! Mm -hmm. Avatar! Avatar! Take a look at his ah! chest! The answer's right there! This is getting interesting. Let's check it out. A puzzle! You guys! We should make it a competition! Come over here if you want to play. Here's all the letters you need. I love tournaments! You mortals are no match for the master of quizzes. Behold my power. Oh, this won't be hard. They all have a different number of letters. Easy win. Kind of this on? You told me that story in confidence. So I... I wanted to say... Thank you. Oh? I know I got upset. But thank you. You made this happen. I just realized something. We're still missing one. A ship with ten letters beats me. I think I know that one. Do you really? Kanada kun Yeah. That would be my ship. You have a ship? Okay. I don't think it's in here anywhere. Kanatamaru. Uh. <laughs> Hurry up, Rin Senpai! <laughs> Be patient. There's something attached to it. Hey, we did it! Wow! Now, start looking for words that go with those seven lines in every direction. Roger! They've spoiled the mystery. Hyperspace diver living in a comet? I remember there was a rumor about that. So it wasn't a riddle after all. Huh? I bet it was meant to be a message to Kanada Kun from his dad all along. But since he was being kind of stubborn, we had to figure it out the hard way. So anyway, we all did great. <laughs> Now that that's done, huh? don't you think it's time to be going? What? You already got to the bottom of it? That's amazing! They maintain several identities, and yet they're all one.
Our enemy is this big conglomerate called Yggdrasil Group. They're not exactly public, but they're mostly made up of mutually held stocks and business partnerships. They've got OMA Computers, the Theodore Group, and General Opticalix constantly merging and breaking up. Plus, they have almost 2,900 companies involved in planning and operations. That's just the long and short of it. Yeah, but if they're that massive a conglomerate, don't you think they'd be more famous? They do seem kind of shy. And get this, if you plug in the dummy companies, you get even more sub-companies than before. <laughs> when something gets too big, it's always hard to consolidate. Ah, this is from a different company, though. Remember what happened with us and Fairy Jane? If the submarine we saw in the hyperspace route caused it, then the Yggdrasil Systems transport companies would make a killing. Their tourism companies and fuel supply companies would profit too. And so would other companies that eventually merge with the Yggdrasil conglomerate. Of course, that was Yggdrasil's vessel. Since Akoya shipbuilding does fall under their umbrella. Hold up. I can't figure out what all these companies would want with Dr. Mugen's legacy. Don't they own everything already? If we can find out what that legacy is, it might unravel the whole mystery. That looks like a fun book. Can I see it? Ugh. Well, I'm sure it's a high power ship. At least it seems that way. Here you go. Huh? This is for me? Well, I told her to wait outside, but what are you talking about? If you're dining at Lamp House, you've got to try Mommy's Deluxe Parfait. <laughs> Besides, it's not like we're busy. I wish you would have brought all the girls from the Yacht Club with you to liven up the place. They're occupied. <laughs> I mean, what about this one? Try this one. This looks good. Well, pass that one. Oh, come on. Here's a pose from New My Hama. Everything's great. Perfect. Time for some false intel. Let's try to stagger these posting times. We don't want these to look too contrived. Got, Got it. it. Maruka's mowing grass in the mountains. Kanata-kun's washing clothes at the river. Do you really think this is going to be helpful, senpai? Maybe a little, but it could be a total waste. Uh! It's a whole network of companies. This might not be their only method of collecting information. Luckily, we've got experts about that on our side, too. Compared to the bugs that are hidden in the palace, these are only mere child's play. Though I'm still a child myself. <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, big sister? Listen carefully. Treasure each encounter, all right, Grunhilda? We were created by people, and we don't have much freedom, so relationships are precious things. Precious things? Oh. Wait just a minute! <laughs> now then, I'd better go make myself useful doing whatever I can do. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> you do the same. <sighs> I can't give up. I'm almost to Lamp House. I won't fall for that again. Curse you, Idrisil! You all right, cow girl? It's adorable. Huh? Hey, I found him! Over here! Oh! Howdy, youngins! If they don't hurry up, the enemy will be here before you know it. Uh, was that? Rough. Uh, Chicky Chun! Mm. There's, There's no, no Chun! chun. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
When I went to your house, I was told you were at school. Then I went to the school, and you were here instead. Stop lazing around! I'm sorry, I guess? We're not lazy. We came to pick something up. Like what? Here it is. <laughs> uh... Sorry to make you wait so long, but I found the item you wanted, Captain Marika. Thanks, Atelier Mommy! <laughs> A pirating uniform? Yep. Honestly, do you have any idea what sort of enemy you're up against? Sure I do. It's Yggdrasil, right? Uh, we already looked into it. Everyone put in a lot of effort. <sighs> Great. Why did I come all this way if you already knew? I could have been discovered. Plus, I got attacked by a goat and had water splashed all over me. Sorry, but I'm pretty sure that's just a stroke of bad luck. You came because you were worried? That's so sweet. No, it's a request from my dad. Kenjo-san? One of the Yggdrasil groups attacked our ship while we were in the middle of a job out in hyperspace. The damage was bad. It's being fixed at the relay station. Oh, no. Anyway... I traveled all this way specifically to offer you the Barbalusa's information. They would have known if we told you online, so it had to be in person. Well, thanks a lot. Welcome to Lamp House. Just thought I'd come say hello to our new neighbors. I appreciate that. Um, Lerod's Family Restaurant. <laughs> A company that's been growing super quick in the Galactic Empire. You are with Yggdrasil Groups. Aren't you? Something burning? So you're the Mara Kakato mentioned in the non-aggression pact. Now I understand how you've been able to live such a carefree life. This town is actually designed to protect you. That may be true, but it's only until I graduate. Anyway, there's plenty of interesting things on these frontier planets. Like food, for example. Maybe you'd like to try something. Our cafe has the best desserts. Yeah, what she said. You there. It's Kanata. <laughs> well, you've clearly made your choice. Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. <clears throat> so Yggdrasil groups and you guys, everyone's waiting on me on my decision. Okay, then I think I'd like to find out my future. Uh. <sighs> so it really was there, just as I expected. I was so sure I'd destroyed all the bugs inside and out. Might as well not be upset. I'm sorry, guys! I never suspected they would put a bug inside Odette Coon. Oh, why couldn't I have just gone with the usual uh, cleaners? Don't blame yourself, Ursula. I'm the one who said it was a better bargain, remember? We're, We're so, so sorry. sorry. Mm. Around what time did he come back from the cleaners? Well, the only thing I know is this. It was sometime before Kanata Kun first came here. Oh, no. That means they heard us when we solved the puzzle. Aww. <sighs> We have to contact Marika Senpai. Uh huh? Bad idea. Chiki Chan. There's no Chan. I found one in the lamp house, so I assumed there might also be one here. This, this is, is all, all our fault. fault. Please forgive us. It's all right. With this kind of wiretap, even professional spies might not always notice it. Hm. So why shouldn't we tell Mark Senpai about any of this? I'm feeling fairly certain Marika was already well aware of this possibility. But... Marika took the hotline with her to the Benton Maru when she left. And Yggdrasil has easy access to our line out. If you consider all that, it looks like it was nothing but a diversionary tactic. That girl is the captain of the Benton Maru, after all. I still don't like it! Isn't there anything we can do to help her with this? We won't get in the way. Yeah, I want to help her, too. I am Marika Senpai. And I'm the same age. So am I, too! And I'm her adorable underclassman! <laughs> <laughs> you can't help her! Uh -huh. There's nothing any of you can do on your own. Starting now, this is a job for pirates. Aww. Even so, this is Marika-san. 
And Kanata-san. We want to do what we can for them. To sit here and do nothing. I don't think... I don't think I'm strong enough. Oh, neither am I! Save She's right! right. Come on! Go. I agree. Please! I'm not strong enough either! Please. You can stop whining. You're all worried. I get it. You've already been pirates. And each one of you fought alongside Captain Marika as well. Chibi chan There's no Chan. Test everything! Make sure everything works, even your hands! For the time being, I'm thinking the sensitivity on the sensor should probably be up about 10%. Although, that's not much in hyperspace. But we don't have a large antenna, so... Well, we're not actually diving into hyperspace. Just far enough to see the shadows of Yggdrasil's submarines. It's an FTL jump, so we'll graze along the top of hyperspace where it flows the fastest, like flooring it in regular space. The Binton Maru's pretty swift, but it's not made yeah. for diving. That makes sense. It is a pirate ship, huh? She'll tell us to dive. Count on it. Huh? No way! I'm not letting that happen! <laughs> You did great! <sighs> You're actually really popular, Mr. Trainee. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you know. You shouldn't keep secrets. Schnitzer said you didn't look like an amateur the way you were moving outside the ship. <laughs> I learned that from my father. Oh, is that so? Well, I lived on a ship all the way up until I started school, and I've been wearing spacesuits for a long time. Oh. Marika! <laughs> I mean, Captain! Were you like that, too? Didn't you go through all sorts of training so you could become a captain? Not at all. Huh? I really didn't. Ririka-san... <laughs> I mean, my mom is always telling me that I should make decisions for myself. I always say, Make the best decision you can, and believe in it. The best decision I can. Hmm? hmm? W what's that look for? Hmm, nothing. You're just starting to look more relaxed, that's all. <laughs> you look good too, Captain. How so? <laughs> Your new outfit looks good on you. It's cool. Aw, thank you. Uh, Let's get going. Off to the comet Herbeck Oda! Those lights are communications. In hyperspace, there's no limit around the speed of light, so you can see the transmissions. My father used to call those lifelines. Oh yeah? That does sound like something a diver would say. No interference from the root. Time to go, you guys! Enemy touchdown confirmed by Plant 5708. Leave it to those pirate scum to brazen to use their transponder. Heading for a one-ship corridor? I like that. It's right 
where the comet's tail is the longest. That's kind of inconvenient. You can't get the treasure just watching from afar. Things may be beautiful from a distance, but up close you can see the truth. <laughs> itself is the doctor's legacy. <laughs> it is pretty amazing. So you lived here until you were left at school? My dad dragged me around all sorts of weird places when I was little. If they were easy to dive into. Easy to dive? That makes sense. This place might have been perfect if you were a hyperspace diver. Huh? This comet orbits around several areas where space is unstable. It's a rough ride for a sailor, but if you're a diver, they're actually great spots. Mm -hmm. Sorry, bud, but do you think maybe we can fly out a bit further? We wouldn't be able to communicate with the captain. We might have to do a rush docking board. Machine approaching at 12 o'clock. Idrisil? Not sure. Somehow they sneaked right up on us. It's fast. That's an assault ship! from the front. Hmm? Here comes a barrage. <clears throat> it is them. Follow me. They won't have fox me like they did the other day. I'll teach them to cross the salary man. Don't let them get close. As soon as you land a hit, make sequential adjustments and continue alternating shots. There's one more ship approaching the comet. You're kidding! <sighs> You're here. I knew it. Yes. I'm collecting Dr. Mugen's legacy. It's the doctor's latest work, and his final ship. A hyperspace sub. It's a giant diving suit. Call it what you want. Tell me, what is it you want exactly? This ridiculously massive machine, of course. No. I mean, what does Idrisil plan to do with it? How should I know? I'm nothing but a mechanic. I was hired by some big shot with the Idrisil groups. I just... You what? I was curious. I wanted... to know what the Doctor discovered beyond the edge of hyperspace. You mean you... knew him? Ready? Now then, shall we fight? I know pirates tend to tread on thin ice, but this would be suicide. <laughs> Hold on! Could you please tell me your name? My name? What good is that? There was one woman in my dad's big group of diver friends. Was it you? <laughs> Oh, that hurt. Huh? What? Cut it, Akun! Wait up! I'll take care of her. 
expecting reinforcements. from Harold Lloyd Insurance. Protecting the Benton Maru. Huh? So what's your plan now, honey? <laughs> hand to hand? It's me! Wherever you lead me, Dad, I'm ready! Can't we get closer to the workshop? Their aim is so bad, it's too dangerous. Almost like a kid is driving it, huh? Get the flaw and ready. I'm going. Platoon, do not lose sight of the Mugen submarine. Three down, one to go. Touchdown reaction behind. What is it now? Huh? Isn't that... What's wrong? Blue and white. Combined power. Would you call that Odette 2 Barbalusa or Barbalusa Odette 2? Oh, jeez. Don't you guys worry about the enemy. We're breaking in! Assign seven sails to combat. Watch out for the Barbalusa's output bypass. Roger! Roger. Output stable. We're okay. Dad. I'll leave the course and firing control to you. We'll handle the electronic warfare. Let's do it. For the time being, the Barbalusa's just here to serve as a boost for the Odette 2. You're the captain, so make sure you hold it together. With pleasure. <laughs> All right, then. This will be fun. <laughs> Workshop while they attack. I'm on it. Oh, Deck got an upgrade? More accurately, they fused it with the Barbalusa. Wow. We're getting a transmission. Chiki Chan. There's no Chan. Let us take care of the fleet for you. You should follow that boy. Please keep Kanatis on safe. Sorry for this. Marika. Sorry, Marika. All of you, stop interrupting. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Huh? Please surrender quietly. I'll make sure you're safe. But my father entrusted me with this. Is that truly what you want? Dr. Lugan cared for nothing but diving into hyperspace. 
Wasn't that why you chose to abandon him? It bothered me. I hated being known as his son. It's true. I even cursed my own blood. But... But... The light from beyond hyperspace. Setting it free. That's my dream. One day I hope to see the color of that brilliant light. <laughs> I'll see that color. I promise! Come in, Asian complete! Well, I'm gonna talk to you again, he's confirmed! What did you say? I'm just existing! Ah! Submarine. Name Advasil. Dr. Mugen's ship. So he wants to swim? Fair enough. Space routes, and judging by the Barbalusa's data, that was a rough fight. Sure looks that way. Kane! Huh? Oh, yeah, it's rough over here, too. Here we go. Please let this ship stay intact! Going down! Hang on! Hi, What do you say, Advasil? Turbulence. 
Oh wow, because of the currents and all the other routes, there's a ton of high energy blasts going by. Only a hyperspace diver would risk this. We're approaching the deposit of hyperspace that Dr. Mugen discovered. <sighs> what is that? All the matter is melting together. Mass, electromagnetic waves, nuclear force. It's basically a world of pure energy. The floor of hyperspace. Dr. Mugen discovered the absolute bottom of hyperspace, the X point where all deposits gather. It was here that doctors saw uh, a new path. Uh, uh, what, what's going on? Trina, you have? What's that supposed to mean? The doctor created me for this purpose. Trigger, you have? What's ahead is your choice, your future. Trigger. I have! Flint system activated. future is my choice! Space. I don't know what they are. Here, look! These things! Oh, pretty! The root is expanding? Amazing. And now it's starting a chain reaction. Whoa, it'll sweep the galaxy in 629 seconds! It's like the roots are getting remodeled before they open back up. Great job, Kanada Kun. Uh, Kanada Kun? This place is really strange. But wait, how am I supposed to get back? Wow, they're here! Mugen. It's beautiful down here, but I'm glad you came to save me. This is Monica. We're on the way. That was fast! Those Yggdrasil groups sure went down easily after all that trouble they stirred up. Just goes to show you there's even worse enemies out there. I hope the royal palace will matter in the end, so maybe there's only negative image. Well, that was an adventure. And now I'm a third year in high school. I'm gonna be juggling my education and being a space pirate. So I hope you guys will bear with me. And Shosan has already sent us another job request. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Time for some party!